Alrighty. Um. Okay, I have no idea if this is live or not. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, let me pull up another window here so I can pull up my channel. Sorry, uh, I switched over to uh, XSplit today just because we've been having trouble with uh, OBS. So I wanted to see whether or not if it was actually an OBS problem or if it's my uh, computer and network problem. So I decided just to try out XSplit and see if this works. So again, we're going to try and be able to stream over uh, 20 minutes today before and see if the uh, stream is stable. And then, um, yeah, we're just going to play the game for a little bit um, and see what happens. Um, I'm assuming things will go well tonight because we're not playing a large uh, graphic intensive game like Pal World. So um, hopefully things will be all right. But I um, just need to pull up my channel so I can get... Um, hopefully it's going here so I can have a chat on the screen. All right, so we're just going to move this over here. I can see that. I'm going to actually run the stream on my window so I can actually see what's going on here too. All right, it looks like... All right, it looks like we're live, so all right, I think this is working so far. All right, so hello, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, like I said, today we're just going to hang out. I did, I was looking at around and uh, came across um, a version of Star Trek Borg Remastered. It's a browser based game. Uh, if you want to play it for yourself, the link is down in the chat below. It's a fan made uh, remaster, and they did it instead of so you don't need the discs, obviously, it's just a uh, browser-based game now so I figure we'll just check it out and see if this actually works out for us and see how the game looks and see if it's actually playable I'm sure it is other people have played it but uh, I've actually never played the game whether it was on a uh, browser or <laughs> or the original one so I'm kind of excited to check it out I didn't want to play this game back in the day but uh, I just didn't have have the money to buy it and I don't think my computer back then could actually play it either so um, this will be interesting. Alright, so just give me one more second here. Finish up getting everything set up um, to go. Should have did this before I started the stream, but yeah, I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> Alright, uh, I assume. Alright, so it was Star Trek Borgs. Uh, was an original developed by Simon & Schuster. Got that remaster. It's a fan-made product. Uh, how to play, control the game with the yellow cars interface uh, on, on desktop and tablet using hollow novel, hollow novel commands on the panel to the left. So start, launches the game, help, hides current game and shows help screen. Freeze program, pause. Uh, okay, that's cool. Pause gameplay and allows you to use Q's tricorder to scan in-game items. Uh, I wonder if that was in the original. We've got um, chapters, allows me to jump through chapters. Um, this is weird. Okay, so something is already weird. Um, I'm not seeing it scroll on screen, so let me refresh this. Huh, I don't know if this is actually working. I might have to just restart this with StreamYard. Um, crap. Because what I'm seeing on my browser is not what's showing up in the stream right now. And I don't even know if anyone can even hear me. So that's concerning. I'd rather not be streaming to myself. Um, hmm. Interesting. Let me pull this up on my phone. Shouldn't be like a... 45 minute delay here on the stream, so I'm concerned that this is actually. Oh, if I scroll. 
scroll this. And it's not scroll. Oh, you know what? You know what it is? I forgot. Okay. So. We're using a browser. This is. So it's different than in OBS. Okay, there we go. So everything I do has to be done inside the XSplit browser. Okay. I think we're okay. And I don't think I need the secondary window open. I'm going to try closing that. And I'm going to have to move this over to the side a little bit more. Sorry. I, uh, I've never I've never done a uh, browser capture on XSplit, so kind of just figuring out how everything works over here versus on OBS. I'm trying to get this window, move this over so I can see everything. We'll shove that to the side there. All right, so I think we should be ready to go. All right, so I was just reading through uh, the how to play thing. Uh, chapters, we can switch through chapters, it looks like. Brings up settings screen, um, obviously. Choices, when you see the spinning cube in the corner of the video window, it's time to make a choice. Click or tap object within the video to make your choice. Remember, sometimes not acting is also a choice. Tricorder, when using the tricorder, sometimes there will be related entries to read, which uh, give you more information about that may be vital to your mission. You can access these by clicking or tapping the button to the left. The currently displayed entry. Uh, please note the game will run with the highest video quality by default. If you're playing on mobile data, this may be rough. Okay, that's fine. We're not on mobile data. Um, let's see. Update project is gaining more attention than you they're expecting. Apologies if counter frequent pauses or video playback or lag when switching scenes. Even if you lowered uh, video quality, this is usually caused by uh, many users playing the game simultaneously. Okay, so. There might be some uh, buffering issues, it looks like, um, just because their server side uh, may not be able to handle if there's a bunch of people playing. But that's all right. We'll deal with that when it comes up. Uh, not official. Um, it isn't possible. Uh, the game is a uh, technically the game is abandoned where. Uh, find a bug and fix it. So who knows? Um, hopefully we won't get uh, hit with a uh, copyright claim here while playing. But uh, I don't think we should. We're just we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. Um, all right. So let's um get into this. All right. We will go ahead and just start program and see how this goes. Priority message, USS Canali to USS Cheyenne. We are under attack by Borg forces. Repeat, Borg forces. We intercepted two Borg vessels heading on a direct course for Sector 001. Subspace is too weak. Let's move to Starfleet Command. If you can read us, do not repeat. Do not send help. We are lost. Repeat, Borg forces are Starfleet. The Borg have returned to Starfleet. Borg forces are Starfleet. Repeat, Borg forces are Starfleet. The Borg have returned. Repeat, the Borg have returned. And there's, oh, there's our buffer. O seven thirty means O seven. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, we might not have. We might not be able to do this if it's gonna just buffer nonstop. But um, I think they show the so the opening scene was a uh, galaxy class ship, but they're clearly using the Voyager sets for this. Mm. One we'll thirty, cadet. Sit down. We'll see if it gets... First, the captain wanted me to convey his regrets for not being here himself. As I'm sure you've heard, Starfleet is amassing an armada in Sector 001 to defend against the latest Borg incursion. We, Starfleet or rather, our ship, 
is on her way to join them. Starfleet has successfully defeated the Borg twice before, and we have every expectation of successfully stopping them now. However, given the probability of armed conflict, the captain has ordered that all non-essential personnel, including visiting Starfleet cadets, be transferred off the ship to a safer venue at the medical research facility on Marnus 3. Please have your gear packed and be at Shuttle Bay 3 in 30 minutes. Dismissed. Are we cadets? Because we appear to be wearing... Cadet Furlong. A moment, please. The captain has denied your request to stay on board, cadet. I'm sorry. The massacre what? 10 Why? years ago at Wolf 359 was a great tragedy for the Federation. I was only one year out of the academy when it happened. A lot of my classmates died there. Now, each year I get older and they stay the same. I understand your need for justice. I'm sorry. Shuttle Bay 3 in 30 minutes. Not justice, but maybe revenge is what we want. Sweet, cold revenge. Temper, temper, young man. What would your father say? How old were you when your father was killed? Nine, ten years old? And you're still not over it? Perhaps I should introduce myself. I imagine you've I heard of me, though. Q? It's short for Q. It was I, you know, who introduced Picard to the Borg. And it's because of me that ten years ago the Borg came to Wolf 359 and found that fleet of ships and found your father and killed them all. At 0800 hours during the Battle of Wolf 359, the USS Righteous such a noble name, Righteous, was hit by an unknown Borg weapons discharge and vaporized. Vaporized. <sighs> no trace. Nothing to bury, nothing to mourn. The Borg took it all away from you in an instant. I understand your desire for justice. They don't, though, do they? But I do. You want action. You want to avenge your father's death. You want to kill Borg. What sentient yet still barbaric, bipedal hominid wouldn't. You can run away with the others like a scared trog, or you can come with me, cadet. The choice is yours. We're taking the phaser. Excellent choice, monsieur. Keep the phaser, you're going to need it. And take this too. Be careful now, don't lose it. I only made one. Don't do it. What do you mean, don't do it? We have to save our dad. Can't, can't have daddy issues. Our, Time! Our star 0758, computer. sir. Keep those phases firing, and where are my photon torpedoes? Armed and ready, Captain. Have a look. I can't see you. Let's see if we can... Oh, come on. Don't be buffery. This is disappointing. I mean, the tree. Take them up a little, here. Ensign. Initiating Delta attack, sir. I'm reading. Man, this is not going to work out if it keeps pausing like every three seconds. Small weakness in the shields. Shields are holding fine, but power is. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Man. Whoever made this needs to definitely uh increase their bandwidth. <laughs>
I suppose we can maybe we'll keep we'll keep trying here for a little bit, but if it's uh it doesn't get any better, but I guess we can just try this another time. Maybe when during the overnight hours or something when there's probably less people playing, but this is no down ten percent. Weapons having no effect. Damn, they've adjusted their shields already. Why is it always the difficult species that are the most adaptable? I mean, all right, so I mean, I've seen the video from like the original disc game, and um, it's definitely been the Borg adapt their up environment to suit their needs. True adaptability involves changing oneself to suit their environment. That dude played that. I'm so glad you cleared that on from that one episode, Reckon the chase. Guys, <laughs> this place, you should. You keep a picture of it on your wall, the bridge of the USS Righteous. Your father's ship. The Tolstoy just took a major hit. This is him, isn't it? Well, I can see the family resemblance. I think she's pulling away. The Kyushu's coming on strong. Melbourne and Saratoga have lost power. Tolstoy, Kyushu, Saratoga, Melbourne. Recognize the name? Do you know where you are, cadet? Captain! Intruder alert. Oh. Security, isolate the ops console now. Uh, that's right, 10 years ago, Wolf 359. Security! Look at him. He's barely older than you are. He shouldn't be at security. But four hours ago, the real security officer, Lieutenant Sprint, was killed. And this first year, Ensign had to take his place. And because of his inexperience, everybody on board, including your father, will be killed. The phases are useless. Just isolate the panel now. <laughs> if Lieutenant Sprint were still alive, he might be able to save the ship. But he's been dead for four hours. No wonder they don't want him on the bridge. Come on, can't you move faster? <laughs> Chief Medical Officer Dr. Thaddeus Quint. He actually tried to save Sprint's life, but as you can see, he failed the old goat. <laughs> well, what'd you expect? He's a doctor, not a security officer. Still, if he had only had a little more creativity. But he didn't. He's bypassed the security lockout. Out and grab his arm and try and throw it out of there instead of just sitting there. Doctor, he's dead. Shield mutation is shifting on its own. Shields are dropping. Uh oh! I need shields back up now. Death in battle. If it were a Klingon, he'd be ecstatic. Ooh, I like this guy. I feel like the captain. Captain, a, uh, there's a type beam transmission going directly to the board queue. Computer is uploading data about emergency transporters. Anyone near Jeffrey Six? We need manual power rerouted through the secondary couplings. It's too late. The board queue is firing. Invasive maneuvers. Engineering officer in first contact. Now that you've seen your father die, are you ready to avenge his death? Or would you like to try something different? Fine. How about a chance to prevent his death? The board first Lieutenant the Sprint Enterprise. was killed four hours before the Righteous even got to Wolf 359. But if the good Dr. Quint had been able to save Sprint four hours before, then Sprint would have been able to save the Righteous, and you would have grown up in the loving company of your father, and all for the want of a horseshoe nail. What say we give the old goat a second chance to save Sprint's life? You're not afraid of a little space-time continuum meddling, are you, cadet? <laughs> no, I thought not. Shall we? This is Lieutenant Sprint. Do you think he knows he's gonna die? I don't think so. Don't bother saying hello. Just makes saying goodbye that much harder. Time, Mr. Furlong. Oh, 400 hours, sir. Is the cube within sensor range yet? Coming up now, Captain. Match speed, stay with it. Setting a pursuit course. Shields up. Intruder alert. Sprint, look out! Shall we dance? Come on, Sprint. Make a choice. We'll shoot him. Quint wasn't clever enough to think of it. Good thing I am. 
The board cube is pulling ahead. It's ignoring us completely. Match speed. Keep us within close range. Remember, a sprint should have died right here. Everything you do in his place from this moment on changes history. Invigorating, isn't it? Meddling with fate. Lieutenant, are you all right? Sprint? <laughs> He's an ox. Nothing <laughs> scares him. And nothing hurts him. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? <laughs> there are all kinds of pain, Lieutenant. Don't let the fact that you are Bajani prevent you from acknowledging the hurt. Oh, please. Captain, coded message coming in from Admiral Hansen. He's ordering us to proceed with all speed to rendezvous with the rest of the fleet at Wolf 359, requesting us not to engage the Borg. Until then, maintain radio silence until contacted. Helm laying a course for Wolf 359. Pull ahead of the Borg cube and then match speed. Aye, sir. ETA at current speed, four hours, five minutes. Good. We don't want them to get there before we do. And Targus, get that thing off my bridge. Yes, sir. Shooter! Oh, shooter! <laughs> Sorry. Acceptable losses. If I told you to jump into a Signian vortex, would you do it? Oh, what? You're a sentient being of sorts. Try using this. You know, all this space-time manipulation does take some effort on my part. It's not that easy. I'd appreciate it if you'd make a little effort, too. Captain, he's hailing the Borg cube. Shields are falling. Borg cube is firing. No. Well, I hope we're learning something from our little mistakes. Fine, we'll shoot this. He's got control. See? Oh, tactical. Oh, the faces are useless. Captain, we're hailing the Borg ship. Shields are dropping. Uh oh. There's a type beam transmission going directly to the Borg cube. Computers uploading data about emergency transport. The Borg are firing. We're gonna die. And it's your fault. What the hell? something from our little mistakes. I'm okay. I, I don't care. I already shot you once. I don't, whether you're not, definitely whether you're dead okay this time. Or not, makes no difference. Then get him definitely off my bridge this time. Mr. Sprint, reconfigure your security console so you can control tactical B. Then meet me down at the computer core. I want to secure this ship in case the Borg try and board us again. Good shooting. How about... Quick thinking, Quint. Good work, Quint. Nobody ever gives me any credit for anything I do. That's because we don't like you, Quint. I think we can all save our hostility for the Borg where it will be better placed, don't you? Let me ask you something, Baraka. Do you just spout these platitudes? Or are you deluded enough to actually believe in them? Come on, Quint. No matter how hard you try, you're not going to change my mind. I still like you. <laughs> oh Kiss me. Can I shoot him? Universe warp campaign produces minor space time deformations. What are you staring at? Oh, of course, your father. This must be strange for you, knowing he may be about to die, knowing this may be your only chance to talk to him, tell him all about yourself, about the years since he died. I wouldn't if I were you. When he looks at you, all he sees is Lieutenant Sprint. I don't think he'd understand. Hey, Sprint. What, are you having one of your Bajani trances? See? Lieutenant Sprint, the console, you, please. Sprint, I'm the one whose brain cells have been rewired, not you. Where's your mind? 
It's a good thing you only touched the delimiter. Grab the power nodule. What? How is he, Doc? I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm not dead. I can still see you. You're just too stupid to live. What do you think this is supposed to be? Jewelry? It's a special gift from me to you. There's no other tricorder like it in the known universe. Use it! All right. Security console. Reconfigurable bridge panel. Though bridge stations traditionally follow a set pattern, this pattern is neither required by Federation protocol, nor is it hard designed into the bridge layout. All bridge consoles can be easily configured to control any of a number of bridge functions, allowing the captain, in consultation with his engineers, to design his bridge to his personal or species preference. To reconfigure a panel, an understanding of the function of the four main nodules is critical. Or you could end up dead. Nodule 1, the delimiter, carries a signal charge. It is always live, unless deactivated by engineering. Careful, the charge is painful. It won't kill you, but it'll hurt. Do not touch. Nodule 2, the power nodule, is the source of power for all bridge stations. Also no it touch. It is always live, unless deactivated by engineering. Careful, this one won't hurt. It'll just make you very dead. Nodule 3, assignable nodule. This is one of the several nodules used to define console functions. In this example, the nodule defines the console as a security console only. To control tactical in addition to security, the nodule must be removed. Careful, though, it's hot, live, energized. Not enough juice to kill you, but enough to make you wish you were dead. To turn off the feed, remove... Nodule 4, the conduit. First, then remove Nodule 3. Ah. Replace Nodule 4, et voila! Now, you're cooking with replicators. Alrighty, we need to... Oh, did they hit this again? Um. Oh, resume. No. Four. And then three. Anderpov the spread. I'm waiting for you down in the core room, Lieutenant. Now! It's just his way, you'll get used to it. Yeah, but it'd still hurry if I were you. The captain definitely does not like to be kept waiting. Captain You do know how to get to the core room, don't you, Sprint? Hey, bird. Of course I know how to get there. I've been on this ship for all of three minutes. Let's see. Please key in destination code. Turbo lift manual interface. Federation turbo lifts are capable of processing verbal commands in over 13,000 languages. For those species unable to interact verbally and during ship emergencies, a turbolift destination code can be manually relayed into the turbolift computer via the interface. For a list of turbolift destination codes, see the ship schematic. What? Uh, see the righteous schematic. How do I do that? Turbolift, intra-ship transport. The turbolift system runs throughout the entire ship, making all major areas accessible within seconds. Oh, USS Righteous. USS Righteous schematic. A general visual overview of the USS Righteous. Key areas such as bridge, 
crew quarters, engineering, computer core control are highlighted. More information is available on all areas, including turbo lift designation codes. I think it's said we're supposed to heal the computer cores. 150619. <laughs> I didn't finish entering the code, so maybe we're just wandering the ship now. Hello, ladies. Oh, thank you, my good man. Sprint, we're waiting. I believe you're wanted in the computer core control room. Oh, mercy. Why? Because I can. <laughs> Please key in destination code. Oh, shit, now I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Turbo lift. USS Righteous Schematic. 619 What the hell? I guess you have a timeline. You're not making very good use of your time. Okay. Please key in destination code. Hey, buddy, I guess I beat you down here. Mr. Sprint, I am a very tolerant captain, except when it comes to punctuality. I suggest you become more familiar with this ship's layout so you don't keep us waiting again. Do I make myself clear? We were trying to route all of the ship's controls through the security systems as an extra precaution, but something kept rejecting all of our attempts to access the security programs. And that's when we found this. It's obviously Borg, but how did it get on the ship, and what is its purpose? It seems to be tied in directly to the security systems, locking us out. Question is, how do we remove it? Sprint, you're the security officer. What do you think? They we shoot it. Non-standard technological implant. Borg in origin. Energy source unknown. Readings indicate potentially fatal levels of neurogenerated energy. Wah, wah. Danger. Warning. Leave it alone. Try this thing. Idiot! He just welded it to the console. Self-destruct initiated. What the hell? Computer abort self-destruct! Self-destruct in 10 seconds. Bridge! Override all security systems! I can't, Captain! Five seconds. I'm locked out! Four, three, two, one. Alright, that was not the right tool for the job. Mm-hmm. Meddling with things you don't understand again? You know, I think I'm learning something here. Hubris. That's what I don't like about you people. Your ignorance of the working of the galaxy is unparalleled, and yet you continue to blunder ahead as if you knew what were going on. The Borg, on the other hand, really seem to know what they're about. If only they had more personality. In fact, if they had any personality, I might consider spending more time with them. But for now, don't touch what you don't understand.
Well, what else am I supposed to do? Maybe we use this one. We'll try this one. <laughs> the, uh, space vibrator. It's definitely tied into the security system. It's analyzing code. It seems to be going through some sort of encryption sequence, like it's trying to rewrite. It's trying to crack the self-destruct key code. Self-destruct program initiated. What the hell? Computer abort self-destruct. Self-destruct in 10 seconds. Bridge, override all security systems. I can't, Captain. Five seconds. I'm locked Four. out. Three. Sorry. Two. One. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, oh, <sprint. laughs> this is a no-win scenario. You're dead. Half a billion gigawatts will do that to you. Well, at least it wasn't 1.21 gigawatts. Touch that. That doesn't work. And we'll scan everything. Um, what does this do? Standard Federation tricorder. Pretty good at input storage, retrieval, and analysis of information on a banal level, but with none of the unique cosmic qualities of the one I gave you. Um. Whatever this says. Portable interfacing device. Used to enhance Federation Tricorder's ability to interface with devices of unknown origin. Used as a buffer with potentially dangerous technology. Okay. Tricorder. Standard Federation. Portable interfacing device. Used to enhance Federation Tricorder's ability to interface with devices of unknown Mr. Sprint is right. Until we know more about Borg technology, I don't think we should make any attempts to interfere with the implant directly. Captain, we were within transporter range for only 6.7 seconds. Mm -hmm. so I don't nothing, see how the Borg maybe, transported uh, to the bridge and implanted the circuit that. unless... Unless there were two of them. Then if there is another Borg on this ship, he's found a way to screen against our usual senses. I'll get Targus to scan against anomalies. See what you can do to help. Start blood screening. Oh, wait. Targus, enough. You've got the scan so sensitive, they're going to alert us if a part of. Mm. Dust falls. If that particle of dust falls off a of board, then I want to know about it. You're too cautious. You're too lax. Sprint, tell them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have had any fun at the academy. <laughs> if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have graduated from the academy. <laughs> what? Oh, Lieutenant Furlong, She's Lieutenant Sprint, and Ensign Targus. Your implant is Somehow very suspicious. Somehow that's not quite how I pictured it. Probably that's not your fault. Out of your face. Every time I see that thing, it reminds me of how much courage it must have taken for you just to be here. And of how much we both owe Sprint. Just don't let Sprint here. His head's big enough already. What exactly do you owe him? You'll spend the rest of your life like a slave to technology. I'm not a slave to, to it. In six months, a year at the most, I won't even need this. In three hours, four at the most, we won't even be alive. Unless we're Borg. Dr. Quinn is testing the boundaries of the humanoid ability to maintain affection for him, which he thinks he's not worthy of. So what he does is he tries to make everyone dislike him. Positive. Well, he's, he's very good, good at that. Hm. He's right about one thing. We could end up as Borg. And I know the last thing I want to have happen to me is to be assimilated into the Collective. We won't Already let it happen Borg with that to any of us better dead than Borg. Agreed? Oh my God. Even Quint. Not even Quint deserves to be Borgified, but the Borg definitely deserve Quint. Bunch of losers. <laughs> <laughs> 
We've got him. Somewhere in Jeffrey's tube six. Sprint, furlong. Take a couple of fully charged phasers, flush out the Borg, and neutralize them. Understood? Yes, sir. hiding inside that wall panel. Yeah. The reading's not clear. He's been through here. Magnetic resonance traces. has to go, but somebody should stay in case he went through and doubled back. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said one of us. I didn't say you. No, Dad. Let me do it. You know, you may be head of security, but I do outrank you. Yeah, it's only by three weeks, but I think that would stand up in case of a court-martial. I'll tell you what. I can't lose you again, Dad. Watch him in the face. Oh my god, that's actually a... <laughs> I didn't think that was actually a real thing. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Stun him just to, just to make sure <laughs> he stays put. What? Take it, you idiot. I'm just here and go fight the ball and talk to him. Kick him in the... Kick him in the implant. They've adapted to our phaser settings. Dad! Oh. Take the phaser before. They've adapted to our phaser settings. Fuck, we not <laughs> Tuning the phaser to a higher EM band frequency. You're right, they probably already adapted to the old ones. Nice shot. What did you think I was gonna do? Cheat? Yeah, because you're a cheating bastard. Let's go see what this circuit can tell us. just not getting anything useful from it. Maybe if we hooked it into the ship's computer and had it analyzed. Oh yeah. That's I'd like to know more about it first. Can't you interface your tricorder with it? Maybe, but I don't think I'd get any more information. Sprint, what do you think? I think. Should we hook it up to the 
tricorder. I'll try the tricorder first. I don't think we should interface Borg technology with the ship. The tricorder is having trouble gaining access to the data. The circuit is designed with a pretty standard neural interface, though, like some of our medical implants. No, it's just it on her face. It. Well, I guess that's all we're going to learn from this. It's too bad. I bet there was some really important stuff on that Borg circuit. Maybe you should try something else. It's too late to try something else, Quint. The circuit's already fried. It's not too late if I say it's not too late. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stick it on your head, slap it on her face. What? Some, some sacrifices have to be made. Erickson. My implant. I don't understand. And so Targus's implant works along the same basic principles as the Borg circuit. She might be able to interface with it. No. You can't possibly be suggesting that Ensign Targus be allowed to interface with the implant. Nobody is suggesting anything of the kind. In truth, Captain, interfacing oh, with yeah. the implant would be somewhat like autoneural stimulation, an experience which Ensign Targus is quite familiar with. Exactly the point, Captain. Ensign Targus' neural implant is designed to counteract the side effects of that kind of neural stimulation experience. Ensign, this kind of neural young, input is... Woman, Does anybody mind if I join in on this wife. discussion? So you all you're all talking this. about me as if I weren't here. It's in the long-term effects of your recovery won't... Counselor, the concept of long-term effects loses its meaning when the entire Federation is in danger of obliteration. I'm ready. Let's assimilate this woman. I think it would be best if the Ensign were immobilized during this. Nice shoot. Do it. <sighs> you could have waited till I sat down. I could have, but I didn't. No, 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 no. I want Sprint to do it. Whatever you have to go through, Targus, will be there for you. Counselor, I've already been through hell and back. I don't think this could be any worse. <laughs> She's in agony. You've never had to deal with pain, have you, Sprint? Shut up. Assimilation! Technology! Channels, subspace channels. The Borg implant taking over systems. Communication with Collective. Jam systems. The Borg implant is getting its orders from the Borg Collective. How do we jam the signals, Targus? Shields. Modulate mutations. 0.6525 of normal. Now! Do it! Modulating shield mutation. The board cube is scanning us. What's happening with those shields, Mr. Furlong? Almost there, sir. They're firing! Mr. Furlong! Your God. weapons are useless. They stopped firing. Against us. Shield settings must be in sync with the Borg scanners. They sense us as being part of the collective. Ah! Ah! Alone! We are... Resistance is... You will be assimilated! The shield has cut off the Borg circuit from the Borg Collective. We've got a disconnector. One more CC of your robot and she'll be a vegetable for life. Do you want to be responsible for turning Ensign Targus into a Bolian zucchini? Ah, we have a, that's right, we have a medical tricorder. Maybe we should try that. Standard. Standard medical tricorder, uh, capable of analyzing medical data for over 300... Med kit? Emergency med kit. Contains several high-tech medical instruments. Hypo spray. Medical hypo spray. Experimental model. Ah, all right, so now we've got... Uh, uses baseline replicator technology. Capable of delivering up to 200 block. different non-zero biological block. catalysts. We'll do a level 3 neural Level block. 3 yeah. humanoid neural block. Paralytic, safe for humanoids with neural resistance of 15 or less. Oh. Capable of stopping a Palakan rhino in its tracks. Deadly to most known humanoid species, except a few. It reminds me of a rhino. Level three human. Level two humanoid neural block. Paralytic, safe for humanoids with neural resistance of eight or less. Cardan. Just grab it. Yank it off her face. Are you sure you want to do this? You saw what it did to Furlon. But then again, you are for Johnny. I'll give you a chance to think about it. Uh, 
No. You're not dead. You're unconscious. In a Bajani pain trance. Interesting phenomena. I'm not sure what its evolutionary benefit was for the Bajani. Something like a Terran possum, perhaps. Oh, look. You're regaining consciousness. Welcome back, Lieutenant. I guess this means I owe you my life twice, huh, Sprint? Yeah, I'll see you in my quarters. In now, I've never seen anyone go into a Bajani pain trance before. Interesting. You were clearly unconscious, yet your body managed to finish the task at hand. I suppose it's part of the survival mechanism. Quick thinking. Next time, they'll warn me. While you were out, we did a diagnostic on the computer systems. The Borg implant is continuing to rewrite code. I'm sending an away team over to the Borg cube to see if they can find anything that'll help us disable the implant. Targus and I are going, but we could use a third. I don't know if we'll get out of there alive. I won't order you to go, Lieutenant. Oh, we few, we happy few, we band of Borg. They're turning this into some heroic escapade, trying to make it impossible to turn down. I'll go. We don't need you, Quint. We need someone we can trust. Just like old times, somebody. Huh, Three against the world. Coming. OK. Here's your phaser. Each of ours has been retuned to a different frequency. Here, take this. I don't think we need an emergency med kit. If things get that bad, we're probably dead. There are many ways to die. Some of them are more painful than others. There's an emergency hypospray programmable for neuro painkillers just in case. You do know how to use it, don't you? We're coming alongside the Borg cube. Good luck. Energize. There's our hint. We need to actually program the hypospray. So we'll have to go into that scan thing again later on. Oh my god. Standard interface. Odd. Why? Well, most of the work we've seen have direct interface abilities. Why would they need something like this? You remember, they've already totally assimilated one Starfleet officer. Maybe this is his influence. Or maybe it's a trick. Somehow, I don't think the Borg understand the concept of trick. Okay, security. You think you can bypass the Borg lockouts and get us the information we need? Heck yeah. Um, I scan this thing. Manual interface with Borg collective knowledge. Encryption codes needed to bypass security and recognition levels. Borg, an extremely powerful cybernetically enhanced species of humanoids. Planet of origin, unknown. First encountered, stardate 42761.3. When the USS Enterprise was transported deep into the Delta Quadrant during a hostile encounter with a member of the Q Continuum. Pfft, hostile indeed. Bunch of babies. Cardassians. 
humanoid race that has been involved in a bitter, extended conflict with the United Federation of Planets. An uneasy... Borg technology, console, access into the Borg collective information. The console can be interfaced via a direct Borg link. You'll be learning more about that. Or standard manual manipulation. You know, pushing buttons, turning knobs, that sort of thing. All right, that's not helpful. They've adapted. Oh, no. That's the trouble with war. You kill one, there's always another one to take its place. You're never gonna figure out how to interface until you learn how to think like a board. Kill them before they kill you. Strike first! What are you looking at, cadet? Standard interface. Odd. Why? While most of the work we've seen have direct interface abilities, why would they need something like this? You remember, they've already totally assimilated one Starfleet officer. Maybe this is his influence. Or maybe it's a trick. Somehow, I don't think the Borg understand the concept of trick. Okay, security. You think you can bypass the Borg lockouts and get us the information we need? something in this stupid scanner thing emergency med kit contains several high-tech medical like instruments hypo medical hypo spray experimental model programmable uses baseline replicator technology capable of delivering up to 200 different non-zero biological catalysts human adrenaline human adrenaline block Bajani adrenaline. I assume that's not it. Um, go back Manual to interface with Borg. Borg, an extremely powerful cybernetically enhanced species of humanoids. Planet of origin, unknown. Humans, Terrans. Planet of origin, Earth. Members of Borg technology, console. Access into the Borg collective information. The console. A Borg. Member of the cyborg species. Borg. Part cybernetic, part biological. See Borg. They've adapted. That's the trouble with Borg. You kill one, there's always another one to take its place. You're never gonna figure out how to interface until you learn how to think like a Borg. Kill them before they kill you. Strike first! Strike first. Well, maybe, uh, kill that one. Hold on, buddy. I need you conscious. Don't go into one of your paint trances yet. What is that? Something to counteract the Johnny adrenaline. It's working. 
Spirit, I'm sorry about that. But you're gonna have to deal with the pain just like the rest of us humanoids. This corridor before more of them come. But it's got sprint. Later, that's an order. Wow, oh, they left me behind. Remember that. one then. God dang it. It's uh if you go to the description you can see the uh link. It's um someone did a, they did a fan remaster. It's uh just browser based right now. So, uh, Sprint. Hold on, buddy. I need you conscious. Star Trek Don't go into one of your paint fences yet. What is that? Something to counteract the Bajani adrenaline. Let's simulate it's ourselves again. Uh, Sprint, I'm sorry about oh, that. Oh, you know what? That you're going to have to deal with the paint just like the rest of us. I think we ourselves. We're supposed to watch what the command is. We have to get out of this corridor before more of them come. But it's got sprint! Later! That's an order. Yeah. 
cadet. Standard interface. Odd. Why? Well, most of the work we've seen have direct interface abilities. Why would they need something like this? And remember, they've already totally assimilated one Starfleet officer. Maybe this is his influence. Or maybe it's a trick. Somehow, I don't think the Borg understand the concept the of trick. Buttons to their computer systems. Okay, security. You think you can bypass the Borg lockouts and get us the information we need? terminated with a simulation implant that must be a Borg time sequence. No, I think it's a code for accessing the implant. If we can find a way to interface safely with the implant, we can feed it this sequence and then order it to shut down. If it's anything like this terminal, it's going to look for a Borg signature. Damn, if we still had that dead Borg circuit, we could use that to convince the implant we were Borg. That's not a bad idea. But the circuit was fried. So we'll get another one. There's no shortage of Borg around here. Get that circuit. directly to computer core control room. You'll be back. No, I just... The Borg implant's been overriding our systems since you left, but we still don't know what it's doing. It's rewriting all of our systems to make them compatible with Borg systems. I thought our shield setting cut its subspace channel off from the Collective. It did, but it's following a pre-programmed set of instructions. We have to give it an abort order, but first we've got to convince it that we're Borg. How do we do that? We use this circuit as a buffer in the interface. It has an individual Borg designation. I remember from my experience with it, everything is filtered through that designation. The rocket of Captain Anderpaw. What is it, Counselor? Captain, the Borg cube has just started a series of random scans. They're looking for us. I don't know how long we have before they find out that we're not actually part of their cube. Uh, the interface looks pretty simple. Sprint. Attach the circuit to the Borg implant. No. Let me. Maybe I should do it. We have to choose. Um, robot girl. You've got the head thing, so... And you're an ensign, so Targus, you're you're right. we can't I'm be fine. Dad. Targus? Coward! I'm sorry. No. No! Ah! Stay back. I'm warning you. Target stop. Don't you understand? It's not my fault! I had to! <laughs> She's gone crazy. She has space madness. Shoot her. Rocket was right. It was too soon! You're right. It's not your... And stop buffering, please. Damn it. Oh, 
fault, but you don't have to. We can help. You should have known. You were there with me. You should have known. <laughs> Sure. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, Captain, the shields are dropping. What's going on down there? Help, take evasive action. Hey, I'll be a genius. It's, uh, it's taking control forward. of help. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You were right. We should have known. Dad. All right, Dad, it's up to you. Don't die. Fuck. You can go to Star Trek Borg, uh, Star Trek Board Remastered.com. It's uh, a remastered version inside the browser, inside of a browser to play. Which is why, which is why it's buffering so much because of certain there they don't have enough bandwidth on their server in there. Recognize or designate Alpha Set Alpha of Four. They're interfacing and exchanging protocols. Try giving it a command. Unable to comply. Updating systems information. Sleep. It's trying to catch up on what it missed. Sleep. Unable to comply. Or designate Alpha Set Alpha of Four is no longer a functioning unit. Disengage that circuit now! Information assimilated. Retuning shields. Shield mutation is being. I mean, so far it's pretty good. I mean. It plays out like a episode of Trek, but uh, some some of the acting is a little <laughs> it's a little shaky. Walter, <laughs> Captain Crazy, um, and the counselor guy is is kind of a loser. The implant has reestablished communication with the Borg Collective. Oh no, we've assimilated the ship. We're screwed. Damn it, things were going so well too. I mean, we weren't buffering, but now. Bridge! Evasive maneuvers now! The shields are dropping! Oh no. The only good board! We needed a live one. Must be it. Contact terminated with assimilation implant. That must be a Borg time sequence. No, I think it's a code for accessing the implant. If we can find a way to interface safely with the implant, we can feed it this sequence and then order it to shut down. If it's anything like this terminal, it's going to look for a Borg signature. Damn, if we still had that dead Borg circuit, we could use that to convince the implant we were Borg. That's not a bad idea. But the circuit was fried. So we'll get another one. There's no shortage of Borg around here. Get that circuit. Yeah, why not? Can't shoot him this time. Um, here, big boy. We need him alive. What are you doing, lady? Directly to computer core control room. Well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna fail again You'll because be we back. didn't take him alive. What no, I just. Alright, so Q says we'll be back, so obviously we're gonna fail this. The Borg implant's been overriding our systems since you left, but we still don't know what it's doing. It's rewriting all of our systems to make them compatible with Borg systems. I thought our shield setting cut its subspace channel off from the Collective. It did, but it's following a pre-programmed set of instructions. We have to give it an abort order, but first we've got to convince it that we're Borg. How do we do that? We use this well, circuit as a buffer in, in the interface. It has an individual Borg designation. I remember from my experience with it, 
Everything is filtered through that designation. The rock of the Captain Anderpaw. What is it, Counselor? Captain, the Borg Cube has just started a series of random scans. They're looking for us. I don't know how long we have before they find out that we're not actually part of their cube. Take her hat and just shove her face into it. <laughs> uh, the interface looks pretty simple. Sprint! Attach the circuit to the Borg implant. No. Let me. No. Well, maybe I should do it. Neither of you. I'll do it myself. Interfacing and exchanging protocols. Try giving it a command. Unable to comply. Updating systems information. It's trying to catch up on what it missed. Unable to comply. Or designate Alpha Set Alpha of Four is no longer a functioning unit. Disengage that circuit now! <laughs> information assimilated. Retuning shields. Shield detection is being altered. The implant has re-established communication with the Borg Collective. No. Bridge! Oh, Invasive maneuvers now! The shields are dropping! Sorry, Dad. I feel like we're dead. The only good Borg! We needed a live one. with a simulation board, implant that must be a Borg time hand. sequence. No, I think it's a code for accessing the implant. If we can find a way to interface safely with the implant, we can feed it this sequence in an order to shut down. If it's anything like this terminal, it's going to look for a Borg signature. Damn, if we still had that dead Borg circuit, we could use that to convince the implant we were Borg. That's not a bad idea. But the circuit was fried. So we'll get another one. There's no shortage of Borg around here. Get that circuit. to computer core control. Chapter. The circuit? Is that what we're on? No, that's chapter 7. I don't think we're that far. Security console, computer core, board hunt. I guess we'll just... Never mind. We'll just keep going. You'll be back. No, I just... The Borg implant's been overriding our systems since you left, but we still don't know what it's doing. It's rewriting all of our systems to make them compatible with Borg systems. I thought our shield setting cut its subspace channel off from the Collective. It did, but it's following a pre-programmed set of instructions. We have to give it an abort order, but first we've got to convince it that we're Borg. How do we do that? Oh, I have an idea. We use this circuit as a buffer in the interface. It has an individual Borg designation. I remember from my experience with it, everything is filtered through that designation. The rock of the Captain Anderpaw. What is it, Counselor? Captain, the Borg Cube has just started a series of random scans. They're looking for us. I don't know how long we have before they find out that we're not actually part of their cube. Sorry. All right, this time we'll try the scan thing when it gets to the uh, choice. Uh, the interface looks pretty simple. Sprint. Attach the circuit to the Borg implant. No. Let me. Maybe I should do it. Hmm. 
Uh... A Borg. Member of the cyborg species. Borg. No. Yeah, this one. No, wait, it's a Borg. No, it's a Q. No, it's both. Or is it? Cybernetic elements, but totally lacking in any superfluous biological. Ensign Anastasia Targus, human, Academy Class of 51, currently stationed aboard the USS Righteous. Targus received medical discharge as per either. Section uh, Alpha 8. That means... Hmm. Borg Designator Interface Circuit. The central cybernetic element of all Borg. The circuit contains each Borg unit's identification labels and any information not yet uploaded to the Collective. If a circuit is removed, the Borg's self-destruct process is initiated and all remaining biological and cybernetic... Mr. Sprint! If you don't wish to attach the circuit, then give it to Lieutenant Furlong or Ensign Targus. You're wasting valuable time! Not. If we give it to either one, we die. So we're just gonna stand here. Mr. Sprint, if you don't wish to attach the circuit, then give it to Lieutenant Furlong or Ensign Targus. You're wasting valuable time. That was a dick. Targus, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. That already. Catching it ourselves. We don't have three choices, so yeah, I'm, I'm dead, sorry. I'm thinking it's something we have to do over on the board no. ship. No, no. Ah! Stay back. I'm warning you. Target's done. Don't you understand? It's not my fault. I had to. Baraka was right. It was too soon. You're right. It's not your fault, but you don't have to. We can help. You should have known. You were there with me. You should have known. <laughs> Captain, the shields are dropping. What's going on down there? Help, take evasive action. It's taken control of Helm. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You were right. We should have known. We're in chapter 8 already. Uh, okay, so. Alright, I'm gonna try attaching it myself again. Interfacing and exchanging protocols. Try giving it a command. Unable to comply. Updating systems information. It's trying to catch up on what it missed. Unable to comply. Borg designee Alpha Set Alpha 4 is no longer a functioning unit. Disengage that circuit now! <laughs> information assimilated. Retuning shields. Shield mutation is being altered. The implant has re-established communication with the Borg Collective. Bridge! Invasive maneuvers now! The shields are dropping! The only good Borg! We needed a live one. terminated with assimilation implant that must be a Borg time sequence. Oh, no, I think it's a code for accessing the implant. If we can find a way to interface safely with the implant, we can feed it this sequence in order to shut down. If it's anything like this terminal, it's going to look for a Borg signature. Damn, if we still had that dead Borg circuit, we could use that to convince the implant we were Borg. That's not a bad idea. But the circuit was fried. So we'll get another one. There's no shortage of Borg around here. I can't shoot him. I can't let her Get that circuit. By not doing anything.
Yeah, it's just the same ones again, so I don't see how that's going to help. Um... God damn it, I didn't start the chapter, so I'm just going to send us back here. We'll go back to the beginning of this chapter. <clears throat> I feel like we're missing something here. Standard interface. Odd. Why? While most of the work we've seen have direct interface abilities, why would they need something like this? And remember, they've already totally assimilated one Starfleet officer. Maybe this is his influence. Or maybe it's a trick. Somehow, I don't think the Borg understand the concept of trick. Okay, security. You think you can bypass the Borg lockouts and get us the information we need? there's always another one to take its place. You're never gonna figure out how to interface until you learn how to think like a board. Kill them before they kill you. Strike first. I need you conscious. Don't go into one of your paint trances yet. What is that? Something to counteract the Bajani adrenaline. It's working. Sprint, I'm sorry about that. But you're gonna have to deal with the pain just like the rest of us humanoids. Order before more of them come. But it's got sprint. Later, that's an order.
assimilate knowledge and interface, assimilate. Standard interface. Odd. Why? While most of the work we've seen have direct interface abilities, why would they need something like this? And remember, they've already totally assimilated one Starfleet officer. Maybe this is his influence. Or maybe it's a trick. Somehow, I don't think the Borg understand the concept of trick. Okay, security. You think you can bypass the Borg lockouts and get us the information we need? Stand aside, losers. I got this. Must be it. Contact terminated with assimilation implant. That must be a Borg time sequence. No, I think it's a code for accessing the implant. If we can find a way to interface safely with the implant, we can feed it this sequence and then order it to shut down. If it's anything like this terminal, it's going to look for a Borg signature. Damn, if we still had that dead Borg circuit, we could use that to convince the implant we were Borg. That's not a bad idea. But the circuit was fried. So we'll get another one. There's no shortage of Borg around here. Get that circuit. Basic in front of us. Put your arm. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, 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 no. Sprint's right. Paul and we need a living board. It's like, Paul, are you in the crawl spit in the Jeffrey's tube? And he gets uh, assimilated. The counselor is that Klingon that um, is in the chase. I still can't place with the captain. There's got to be something we can use on the Borg that'll stun them without killing them. Medical hypospray, experimental model, programmable, uses baseline replicator technology. Human Capable neural block, level, level three. Level three humanoid neural block, paralytic, safe for humanoids with neural resistance of 15 or less. <laughs> Capable of stopping a Palakan oh, rhino in its tracks. Oh. Deadly the most known humanoid species, except a few. Level 2 humanoid neural block, paralytic, safe for humanoids with neural resistance of 8 or less, 
Cardassians, Falcons, Klingons, etc. Level 1 Humanoid Neural Block. Paralytic. Safe for humanoids with neural resistance of 4 or less. Humans, Bajani, Bajorans, etc. We just cheat and look it up. I cheated. One three three one. <clears throat> Do you think you're fast enough? Do you really think that's going to work on me? He didn't check the tricorder. I have no biological components. You should have waited for one of the others. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on, buddy. We need you conscious. Don't go to one of your pain transitions. Come on, get out of here! I'm sorry. <laughs> in a Bajani oh. pain trance. Your friend Furlong wasn't able to stop it. The Borg don't seem to notice, though. They're assimilating you at this very moment. At least this time, you won't feel it. Oh, it looks like you're waking up. Interesting. Borg, yet not Borg. Do you feel it? It's different this time, isn't it? think you're doing here stopping to enjoy the scenery this is an important moment learn something destroy oh. kill him Now that was the right action. Proving to yourself that you didn't have to listen to that nasty old Borg collective. True, you are dead. But now you know something you didn't know before, right? Well then, it was worth the trouble. Attempt 907,000. Do you think you're fast enough? Do you really think that's going to work on me? Stand here. You're nothing. You'll be back. Maybe more than once. We've already been back like 800 times. We're going to get it. What were you waiting for? for? This one. That's what I was waiting for.
G. Two life forms. Assimilation of board. To destroy. Now you know how to disarm the implant. If only you weren't a slave to the collective, you could go back to the righteous and save them. If only. To scan it with the tricorder. Next board, come along, click right here. Own hand, the one not holding the high board. I get vulgarified. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're Do you think you're fast enough? Do you really think that's going to work on me? You'll be back, maybe more than once. What were you waiting for? Our hand. This one. Not herself. Genius. Brent, what are you doing? Wasting time. This is not set for a bajani. Ah. I think I need to renew myself in some alternate reality. Come on, everybody, let's go. Such an amateur. Oh, oh Oh, all right. Medical hypospray. Bajani adrenaline. Not. Yeah, one, three, three, one. Well, we said it. We said it for correctly. Oh, Bajani adrenaline Bajani block. Bajani adrenaline block. One, three, three, two. Try that. One, three, three. Oh, shit. Now I don't know what I just did. Do you think you're fast enough? Do you really think that's gonna work on me? You'll be back. Maybe more than once. Portable, programmable, valuable. I'm sure you brought it for a reason. Do you think you're fast enough? Do you really think that's going to work on me? You'll be back, maybe more than once. What were you waiting for? Sprint, what have you done? He sent himself into a Bajani pain trance. Smart move. Sending yourself into a Bajani trance before you get Borgified. I only hope you're in time to stop them before they Borgify your friends.
Wait! Wait, I think it's him. It's still Sprint. <laughs> All right, we we'd better get out of here before it's crawling with Borg. I guess we didn't. Oh, wait, Team to Right. Three to beam directly to Computer Core. Now. No, it's all right. Do not shoot me, crazy captain. I'm here to help you. The Borg implants programming is shutting down, Captain. We have complete control again, sir. Captain, I have a message from Admiral Hansen. We are engaging the Borg. The Righteous is ordered to remain outside the battle until all first and second line defenses are exhausted. At your discretion, that was all, sir. Here's the last hope. And so it begins. You mean there's nothing we can do? Not until we're called into action by either the Admiral or the Borg. They also serve who sit and wait, Lieutenant. Is, is this Captain? Let's get a battle ready. The guy that plays the uh, cap, the alien captain in the episode from where Picard oh, is pretending to be a space pirate. I just hate sitting here doing nothing. Worried that the battle will be won without you, Targus? Worried that the battle will be lost without us. His voice reminds me of that guy. You overestimate well. your importance to the situation, Ensign. The battle is already lost. Don't bother me, I can't play Keep him. your cynicism to yourself, Quint. I'm just telling the truth. I'm afraid he may be right. Things aren't going very well. Oh, not you too, Lieutenant. It's important to have a positive outlook, even in the bleakest of situations. It doesn't get much bleaker than this. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about Kalen. Kalen? My son. What were you thinking? <laughs> I think by now all my friends are tired of hearing me brag about Kalen. I'm sure they don't want to hear any more. Did you hear that sprint? You don't want to hear Furlong talking about his whiny brat now, do you? God, we just punched him in the nuts. Come on, Quint. You'll be okay. Just catch your breath. <laughs> if you just didn't try so hard to make everyone dislike you. Nutshot. Spare me the psychology, counselor. You don't have the tools to analyze me. Your problem is very straightforward, doctor. You desperately want to be liked. If I wanted to be liked, all I'd have to do is snap my fingers and I'd be liked. I'm an omnipotent being masquerading as Dr. Quint. Whatever I want to happen, happens. Interesting fantasy. <laughs> all right, let's play that through. Then why don't you? Why don't I what? Make everyone like you. Because I don't want to. to. No, because you want them to like you of their own free will. And phenomenologically speaking, you can't force them to do something of their own free will. Sophistry, Baraka. Truth, Quint. Let me give you some free advice. If you want to be liked, try making yourself likable. Ah! Shut it, Q, before I punch you in the nuts again. Subspace message, sir. No audio. Read it, Ensign. Orders from Admiral Hansen deploying third wave attack when ready. Battle stations. Take us in, Targus. Maximum power to the shields. Spray fire phases. Keep the frequency changing and get those torpedoes online. Keep those faces firing, and where are my photon torpedoes? Armed and ready, sir. Let's see if we can shake them up a little, Ensign. Yes, sir. Initiating Delta attack. I'm reading a small weakness in the shields. Delta. Shields are holding five, but power is down 10%. Weapons having no effect. Damn. They've adjusted their shields already. Here we are again, back at the beginning. But this time, you are security, instead of that little mouse of an Ensign. The Tolstoy just took a major hit. Are you going to be able to save him or not? I think she's pulling away. The Kyushu's coming on strong. Saratoga and Melbourne have lost power. 
Tolstoy, Kyushu, Saratoga, Melbourne, all ships that were lost at Wolf 359. Will they be adding righteous to the list? Captain! Intruder alert. Security, isolate the ops console. At 0800 hours during the Battle of Wolf 359, the USS Righteous was hit by a Borg weapons discharge and vaporized. It's in your hands. Security! We have the code. It's uh, 63110, but I want to see what the bad ending is. So we're just going to punch in some random numbers here. What? I'm not doing it. Alright, I just punched in a bunch of random numbers. The board cube is firing. Our destruction. To have come so far special. and then to lose? All this work and the outcome is the same. The righteous is vaporized. Everyone is dead and why? That Borg wasn't all that smart, you know. It would have been a simple matter to overpower him. You were so close. I know I'm going to hate myself in the morning. But I'm going to give you another chance. It's not that I care. I just want to see how it turns out. Uh, six, three, one, one, zero. Excess ops. You have to try and stop it. Notice the thick lines along the bottom of the screen. A lighted circle will appear and stop at the center of one. Of the to have come so far and then to lose? All this work and the outcome is the same. The righteous is vaporized. Everyone is dead and why? That Borg wasn't all that smart, you know. Okay, so it would have been a simple matter to overpower him. You were so close. I know I'm going to hate myself in the morning, but I'm going to give you another chance. It's not that I care. I just want to see how it turns out. Uh, so, click on this. And what? Six, three, one, one, zero. firing to have come so far and then to lose all this work and the outcome is the same the righteous is vaporized everyone is dead and why that Borg wasn't all that smart you know it would have been a simple matter to overpower him you were so close I know I'm going to hate myself in the morning but I'm gonna give you another chance it's not that I care. I just want to see how it turns out. So click on the circle. Six, one, three, three, zero. Shield mutation is modulating. That would be the, one of the most annoying uh, puzzles with um, the to look at. That would be, be the board cube is pulling away, sir. It's ignoring us completely as if we weren't here. What the hell are you? It thinks we've been vaporized. For a minute there, I thought we would be. Where is it headed, Ensign? Direct course for Sector 001, sir. I wonder 
wonder what chance the Starfleet forces have of stopping the Borg at Earth. Actually, they will succeed. The Enterprise, utilizing the emergency transporters on the shuttlecraft, will recapture their Borgified Picard and stop the Borg incursion just in the nick of time. And how do you know that, Quint? I told you already. I'm an omnipotent being. Who are you? And what happened to Dr. Quint and Lieutenant Sprint? And what have you done to my crew? I'm afraid the lieutenant died about four hours ago. Not my doing. He was supposed to die. Just as all of you, I'm afraid, are supposed to be vaporized here at Wolf 359. That's how it's written in the history books. History? Are you telling us you're from the future? He is. I am, well, as I said, I exist outside the confines of the space-time continuum. That is, if I want to. My little friend here wanted a chance to come back and save this ship from destruction. And to my great surprise, he succeeded. So you were just pretending to be Sprint. Why? Who are you? I love you, Dad. Kayla. Please. I'm trying to figure this out. As I said, I didn't expect Cadet Kalen to succeed here. And now that he has, I'm in kind of a bind. I don't, uh... Of course. According to history, we've disappeared from Wolf 359 at exactly 0800 hours. If we stay here alive, it corrupts the timeline. Our future, but Kaylin's past. What are you going to do? Well, the easy thing would be to just obliterate you all, but then that wouldn't be fair now, would it? Do it. On the other hand, I do want to protect the timeline. Hmm. You have to kill them, otherwise the time cop. Are we dead? Uh. Oh, I don't think so. Where are we, Lieutenant? We are still at Wolf 359, sir. The real question is when are we? According to the navigational charts, correcting for time, we have jumped ahead more than 10 years. It's clever. I don't understand. We disappeared from Wolf 359 exactly when history says we did. Timeline is unaffected, we're still alive. Thanks to you, Cadet. If you hadn't come back to get us, we'd be dust. Captain, that. what about Quint? Oops, I almost forgot. Where am I? What's going on? Wait, I don't think I want to know. Captain, I'm picking up the vessel 34 Mark 216, heading on a course for Earth. It's the Borg. What are your orders, sir? We're a Starfleet ship in Federation space. We may be 10 years behind the times, but I bet we know a thing or two more about the Borg than anyone else in this time. Oh, Lay in a pursuit yeah. course. Contact. I, uh... I think I'm going to enjoy getting to know you. Could Unfortunately, have you're gonna die in this battle. Dad. Course laid in, sir. Engage. Star Trek Four. Pretty fun. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I actually got a chance to play it. Like I said, I wanted in the beginning. I wanted to play this. Years and years ago, but I just never got the chance to. Okay. Definitely cool that somebody uh, took the time to remaster it.
try out some of the other failures that we didn't do. Priority message, USS Canali to USS Cheyenne. We are under attack by Borg forces. Repeat, Borg forces. Release the two Borg vessels heading on a direct course for Sector 001. Search base something is too weak. Navigate to Starfleet Command. If you can read us, do not repeat. Do not send help. Repeat, Starfleet Command. Starfleet Command, Starfleet Command. Let's uh, jump to, um, I think, let's see, security console. I'm okay. It was one of the circuits we didn't grab that kills us. Definitely dead this that time. Team looks like. Then get him definitely off my bridge this time. Mr. Sprint, reconfigure your security console so you can control Tactical B. Then meet me down at the computer core. I want to secure this ship in case the Borg try and board us again. Oh, we should do the uh, Jeffrey's Tube um, Good shooting. chapter again, because we accidentally about... picked the right one right away by punching, Quick thinking, the, Quint. Um, by Good punching work, that guy Quint. in the face. Nobody ever gives me any credit for anything I do. That's because we don't like you, Quint. I think we can all save our hostility for the Borg where it will be better placed, don't you? Let me ask you something, Baraka. Do you just spout these platitudes, or are you deluded enough to actually believe in them? Come on, Quint. No matter how hard you try, you're not going to change my mind. I still like you. <laughs> he kissed me. I kind of hope somebody does this, like, with the, uh... Wasn't, uh, wasn't, wasn't the Klingon Academy game kind of like this, too? Just kind of like a... What are you staring at? Movie? Oh, or was of course, that like your the, uh, father. Starfleet this must be strange game. for you, knowing he That'd may be, be about to die, the, uh, knowing this may be your only chance to talk one. to him, tell him all about yourself, about the years since he died. Online either. I, I would if I were you. When he looks at you, all he sees is Lieutenant Sprint. I don't think he'd understand. Hey, Sprint. What, are you having one of your Bajani trances? See? Lieutenant Sprint, the console, please. I tried downloading, um... ISO files for um, Dominion War and Legacy to try and play those games, but uh, all right, so this is one we didn't do. But uh, I don't have an emulator for Windows XP, so I'm gonna go play those too. Sprint, what's the first thing they teach you in systems tech? Make sure it ain't plugged in. Oh, shut up. Baby. Say that must have hurt, but I know you don't feel pain the way humans do. Just be careful. I think she likes me. Let's see, let's go one, let's do one more, probably computer core, or the circuit, probably computer core. Hey buddy, I guess I beat you down here. Mr. Sprint, I am a very tolerant captain, except when it comes to punctuality. I suggest you become more familiar with this ship's layout so you don't keep us waiting again. Do I make myself clear? Xsplit seems to be working well, too, by the way. We were trying to route all of the ship's controls through the security minutes, systems as an extra precaution, an OBS thing and but something kept rejecting all of our attempts to access the security my programs. Computer, so next time and that's when we found this. Stream, I'll use this again and see it. It's obviously Borg, but how did it get on the ship, and what is its purpose? It seems to be tied in directly to the security systems, locking us out. I Question is, how do we remove it? Spend a bunch of time trying to sprint. Run a wire You're the down security down. officer. What do you think? Mr. Sprint is right. Until we know more about Borg technology, I don't think we should make any attempts to interfere with the implant directly. Captain, we were within transporter range for only 6.7 seconds. Mm -hmm. I don't see how the Borg transported to the bridge and implanted the circuit unless... Unless there were two of them. If there is another Borg on this ship, he's found a way to screen against our usual senses. I'll get Targus to scan against anomalies. See what you can do to help. 
just capped it. Targets enough. You've got the scan so sensitive, they're going to alert us if a particle of dust falls. If that particle of dust falls off a of Borg, then I want to know about it. You're too cautious. You're too lax. Sprint, tell them. <laughs> you know, if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have had any fun at the Academy. <laughs> if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have graduated from the Academy. She's full of herself. What? Oh, Lieutenant Furlong, Lieutenant Sprint, and Ensign Targus. Somehow that's not quite how I pictured it. That's not your fault. Every time I see that thing, it reminds me of how much courage it must have taken for you just to be here. Mm. And of how much we both owe Sprint. Just and so don't let Sprint hear his head's big enough already. What exactly do you owe him? You'll spend the rest of your life a slave to technology. I'm not a slave to it. In six months, a year at the most, I won't even need this. In three hours, four at the most, we won't even be alive. Unless we're Borg. Dr. Quinn is testing the boundaries of the humanoid ability to maintain affection for him, which he thinks he's not worthy of. So what he does is he tries to make everyone dislike him. Well, he's very good at that. <laughs> he's right about one thing. We could end up as Borg. And I know the last thing I want to have happen to me is to be assimilated into the Collective. We won't let it happen to any of us better dead than Borg. Agreed? Even Quint. Not even Quint deserves to be Borgified, but the Borg definitely deserve Quint. We got him. Somewhere in Jeffrey's Tube 6. Sprint, furlong. Take a couple of fully charged phasers, flush out the Borg, and neutralize him. Understood? Yes, sir. security, but I do outrank you. Yeah, it's only by three weeks, but I think that would stand up in case of a court-martial. I'll tell you what. Watch your back. Paul, are you okay? There is another board, and he's waiting in the card of whoever comes out first. Poor old dad. Oh. I hope you don't feel guilty.
something on my face. Remember what you said. Better dead than bored. I'm gonna shoot Q. Good try, but you see the Borg are clever in their own monolithic way. They adjust two hits from any phaser, and they all know how to shield themselves against that frequency. You have to adjust along with them. You did say you wanted to kill Borg, didn't you? I like the irony of it, but aren't you forgetting <laughs> someone or something? Rise and shine. Rise and shine. If it looks like a Borg, walks like a Borg, and sees like a Borg, then it must be a Borg. You're wondering what you're feeling? That's pain. No Borg is an island unto himself. Every Borg is part of the whole. Stop poking me with that thing. <laughs> do you hear that? Filling your mind, telling you what to think, what to do. Welcome to the collective, cadet. Time to go assimilating. Oh, Sprint, what have they done? They've adapted to the frequency settings of our phasers. These weapons are useless. Should have not have done that. That way we could have killed the doctor. Dead? I'm getting intermittent energy readings, but they're marginal. Maybe we should try removing some of the circuitry just to be sure. I say leave sleeping Borgs lie. His eyes just open. Could be some kind of autonomic response. collective to attack the ship i'm starting to wonder about you maybe you're just not up to saving the universe shields can't hold the next hit could do it evasive maneuvers on the other hand that's a great thing about being omnipotent i can always give you another chance as long as you don't bore me shields are gone they're firing damn it oh and by the way the game is rigged oh my god the game is rigged. Jeff. <laughs> you bought Q a coffee, didn't you? Alright, we'll pick this one this time. Did you hear what I told you? He cheats. You can't win. Alright, I guess we'll pick this one. Didn't you hear what I told oh, you? Oh man, cheats. it's not gonna let me do it. It's not gonna let us uh, do that scene again unless we replay the entire thing and I don't want to. We're just gonna punch him. It's satisfying. <laughs> Alright, we've seen everything from here, so we're just gonna, just gonna go back to the uh, most freeze program here. Alright, guys. That's going to probably be it for tonight. Thanks a lot for hanging out. That was actually a lot, a lot more fun than I thought it was going to actually be. I'm glad it actually wasn't buffering the entire time, too. We were actually able to play the game. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for hanging out. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably do another stream. Um, just mainly...
to test to see if this actually works, uh, if it's actually going to work out uh, with uh, Pal World. So I'll probably just jump on there for a little while tomorrow and play. Um, I actually might do that later tonight too. So if anyone's around and bored not doing anything, I might uh, do something later on because I'm not really that tired tonight. So we'll see uh, how the night goes. But otherwise, if not tonight, then I'll probably play some Pal World tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, we'll figure it out from there. Grab his phaser and shoot him? I don't think you actually can, but uh, let's see actually if we can... Because we do grab the phaser here in a second. They've adapted to our phaser settings. Grab phaser. Increase. Oh no, turn it back around, idiot. So we can push the button. Yeah, okay, never mind. Alright, we can't shoot Dad. <laughs> unfortunately. Alright, guys. That's it for tonight. Thanks a lot for hanging out. I'll see you guys later, maybe. But uh, definitely tomorrow. Have a good night. See ya. Bye-bye. Um... Shit, how do I end this?